Hello students. Today again we will study maths. In that we will continue with the chapter number one, knowing our numbers. In last session we have already studied about numbers, uh, different type of number system, which is Indian number system and international number system. Today we will start with the exercise 1.1. We have already studied question number one of 1.1. Now we'll move on to question number two of 1.1. The question number two of 1.1 is place commas correctly and write the in the numeral system. Place commas correctly and write in numerals that means you have to write following statement in numbers okay first is i am not writing the uh, number in uh, whatever written in the question which is in words okay i will just uh, read it for you it is 73 lakhs 75000 307 okay now this number system is in which number system Indian or international it is in Indian number system because it is written lack now in international number system if you have remember they have not they don't have lack they have millions and uh, 100 millions and millions and that kind of thing and in Indian number system you have lack and crore so first of all you have to do the place value chart for this number so it is written 73 lakh means the number starts with the 10 lakh so you have to make a box place value chart box okay then you start with the 10 lakh then lakh then 10000 then 1000 then 100 then tens and ones now 73 lakh means 73 73 lakhs okay then it is 75000 70 5. See, whenever 70 or 30 or 50 is written, that means the, it is of 10 lakh or 10,000 number. Okay, the so 73 lakh 75,000. And now it is 307. So 3 is in 100 place. Now direct 7 is given. You don't have these numbers. So in tens place you are having 0. So 73 lakh. Now lakh you have to put comma here. Then 75,000. Again you remember that there is a comma between 1000 and 100. There is a comma between lakh and 10,000. And 307. So it is written like. This is your answer. Now next B. Leave one line after writing each question. I am reading. 9 crores 5 lakh 41. Now it is not 90 crores. It is 9 crores. Means in the crores it start with the crore place. So it start with the C. You have to again make C place value chart. After C means after crore it will be 10 lakh. After 10 lakh you have lakh. After lakh 10,000. After 10,000, 1,000. After that 100. Then tens. Then ones. Remember if you make place value chart it will be easy for you to write the number. If you don't make place value child, you will get confused. So every time in your examination also, please, please, please write in the place value table and then write 
the number separately. Now, uh, here 9 crore. So, at the crore place you have to write 9. Okay. Then it is 5 lakh. That means in the 10 lakh place you don't, it is not 50 lakh. It is 5 lakh. So, you have to, at the lakh place you have to write 5. So, what you will write in the 10 lakh place? 0. So, 9 crore 5 lakh. Okay. Then it is 41. 41 is tens and ones place. So, 41. It is not 41,000 children. It is not 4,100. It is 41. So, 41 will go here. So, in between places you have zeros. Now, you remember you have to put comma between 1000 and 100 place. Then you have to put comma between lakh and 10 lakh, lakh and 10,000 place. Then you have to put comma between crore and 10 lakh place. So it is written like that 9050041. So it is written like this 9 crore 5 lakh. 41. This is how it is written. Okay. Now I will read, write C for you. C is 7 crore 52 lakh 21,302. So I am making place value chart again. Now here it is starting with 7 crore. That means not 70 crore, it is 7 crore. So, 7 is in crore place. Then again this place value chart you have to write 10 lakh. Lakh. Please write along with me. Don't wait for me to give you time for writing. Okay. At least you can make place value chart. Then you can see what I am doing. Okay. Again you check. Crore, 10 lakh, lakh, 10,000, 1000, 100, tens, ones. Now, again you read, it is 70, sorry, 7 crore. So, 7 crore, 7 is in crore place. Then it is 52 lakh, 5, 2, 52 lakh, 7 crore, 52 lakh. Then it is 21,000, 21,000, it is 21,000. Then it is 302, 300, again it is 2, it is not 12. So at tens place you have to write 0, 302. Okay, now you have to put commas. Remember where you put comma between crore and 10 lakh, between lakh and 10,000 and then between 1,000 and 100. So it is written like this. S is equal to 7, 7, 2, 1, 3, 0, 2. 7 crore. 52 lakh 21,302. Okay. So, this is how it is written. Now, D. I hope you have completed. I will give you 2 minutes to complete this. D is. Now, D is. I am reading. Now here million. That means international number system. Okay. 58 million. That means international number system. 423,202. So now it is international number system and it is 58 million. That means you have to start with 10 million. Then million, okay, 
writing I am writing in place value chart after 10 million it will be million then it will be 100,000 then 10,000 then 1000 100 tens ones this is international number system my dear children in international numbers system it is having million and in this number you have to start with 10 million so 10 million 58 million so 50 is in 10 5 is in 10 millions place and 8 is in millions place 58 million then 423,000, 423, 423 and 1000 is there already. Then 202, 202, 1000 jahan pe aata hai, wahan pe stop kar 423,000, 202. Now you have to remember where you have to put comma so this is correct 100 between 1000 and 100 place you have to put comma then between million and 100,000 place you have to put comma so it is right written like this 58 million then 423,202 now e E is 23,30,010. Okay. 23 lakh. Again in the number system. And it is start with 10 lakh. Lakh. 10,000. Thousand. Hundred. Tens. Once. Okay. Now, if you can do it by yourself, please do it and give me your answer. This is your answer twenty three lakh thirty thousand. 10. If your answer is, please verify that your answer is correct or not. Okay. So, this is all about question number 2. Now, question number 3. In question number 3, <coughs> instruction is insert commas suitably and write the names according to the Indian number system. Okay. So, I am doing three of, of two of that and another two you have to do is in your homework. So, I will start with the A. Question number three A. I will do A and C. You have to do B and D. Okay. So, here what you have to do is your, there is a number given to you and you what you have to do you have to put commas according to Indian number system and then write that number in the word. So first number is here like this 8, 7 I will write separately the number 5, 9, 5, 7, 6, 2. So ones, tens, hundred, thousand. 10,000 lakh, 10 lakh and crore. Now, it is easy for you to put commas. How? You know that in Indian number system, you can put commas between, first comma will be but between 1000 and 100, second comma between lakh and 10 lakh and third comma will be between, sorry, second comma is between lakh and 10,000 and the third comma between crore and 10 lakh. So, now this number will be written like this. So, you can write this number like 8 crore 
75 lakh Ninety five thousand seven hundred sixty two. So this number will be written like this. So first what you have to do is you have to put commas according to Indian number system and then you write the number according to number system, Indian number system. Now I am not doing B. B is in your homework. I'll, you have to leave two or three lines for B. I am writing just, I am writing down the number 8546283. Eight, you have to do this by yourself and then you will start C. So C is 9990046. Again you have to put a places on the numbers. So starting from ones, then tens, then hundred, then thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, eleven lakh, twelve lakh, thirteen lakh, fourteen lakh, fifteen lakh, sixteen lakh, seventeen lakh, eighteen lakh, nineteen lakh, twenty 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 Put commas between crore and 10 lakh, then put commas between lakh and 10,000 and then put comma between 1000 and 100. So here you have three com commas and now you have to read the word. Read it in the word. 9 crore. ninety-nine lakh. Now, 1000 and 10,000 place there is 0 and 100 place there is 0. So, you don't, you don't need to write 0,000. Okay. So, here you don't need to write anything. Directly go into the other number which is 4 and 6, 10s and 1s place, 46. So, it will be written like 9 crore, 99 lakh, 46. Okay, now D is again homework 9843201. Now question number 4. Question number 4. Now this question number 4 is in international number system. Insert comma suitably write down Write the num names according to the international number system of numeration. So, in it, I'll do A first. 7892102. Now, remember, whenever you are writing this number, you have to write the places according to the international numeral system. Now writing from the ones place, ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousand, ten thousand. Now you don't need to write lakh here because in international number system you don't have lakh. You have hundred thousand. So HTH. Then you have million and then you have ten million. So it will be now putting commas here the commas also putting differently. First comma is correctly putting like this between 1000 and 100, then between million and 100,000. That means these two number will be spoke uh, will be spoken together. These two number will be spoken together. This three number will be spoken three together and these three numbers will be spoken together. So if I'll start with the 78, 78 million. 78 million then these three numbers will be together 
921 you have to write like this 921 then you have to put 1000 so 900 Twenty one thousand and then these three numbers are together ninety two because zero is not no value so ninety two now B B will be in your homework I am writing down the number of B seven four five two two eight three now this is in your homework remember you have to do this according to international number system not according to the indian number system okay so remember this now c i'm doing nine again c wait a minute nine 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 Eight five one zero two. This is your number. Now, in this number, you have to do according to the Indian international number system. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, then million and ten million. Okay, so remember commas are between million and hundred thousand and thousand and hundred so it will be written like this 99 million 900 85,000 102 So you have to take three numbers together after million Okay this is how it will work Again, D will be in your homework. Okay. That is shown in the screen for 8049831. D, B and D again in the homework of exercise 1.1. Here comes the end of the exercise 1.1. Now, we will study the next topic. Next will be larger number in practice. Now, you know the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You have already studied from 1 to 5. Barrage. Now, in this lesson, you will study these operations for the larger numbers. Okay. Now, before that, I want to tell you about some measuring units. Now, what are measuring units? If you have studied mensuration or measurement, there are three important units of measuring units. For example, for measuring weight, you have gram or kilogram, right? Then for measuring length, you have meter, centimeter, sorry, centimeter, meter and kilometer and for measuring capacity you have <coughs> liter or milliliter these are some measuring units okay and you have already studied in class 5 and class 4 now what are the relation between gram and kilogram so 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram this is the relation between kilogram and gram 
Similarly, if you want to know the relation between centimeter, meter and kilometer, so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, then 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. From this, can you tell me what is 1 kilometer between means how many centimeter? So, you have to what you have to do is multiply this both number 100 and 1000. So, by this you will get after 1 how many 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 0 0 0 0 0 and then you have to write centimeter. So, it will be 1 lakh centimeter. Why I am doing it? Because you have to remember these things. You can I will give you some time to rewrite this also. Okay. Then then 1 liter is equal to 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. These are some units which you have to remember and the conversion between one unit to other unit. You can write you have to, you can write it down in your notebook right now. I will pause the video and you write down this in the notebook similar way ok. Now why did I do these measurement and why did I uh, do the conversion and because in exercise 1.2 you will study this mathematical conversion into operations means you have to study word problems in exercise 1.2 you have to study the word problem. So, now we will move on to the exercise 1.2 and that is first question number 1. I will read question number 1. You have to write the question in your notebook. Okay. First question. A book exhibition was held for four days in a school, the number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Total. Now, I think whenever you are working with the word problems, your teacher must have told you some of the keywords. Now, there are some keywords for addition, then some keywords for subtraction, then some of the keywords for multiplication and divisions. These keywords are very very important. Okay, I will write down the keywords first, then you write the question. So, keywords for additions are all together. If these words are there in your note question, you think that these are the keywords for addition. All together, total. Then together, these are the uh, keywords for addition, then subtraction is left, remain, how much more or how much less, more than or less than. These are the keywords for subtraction. Then if multiplication is there, you have given, there is no keyword for multiplication. For, for multiplication, you have given the cost or the weight of the one thing and you have to find for many thing. So, one to many, one is given and you have to find for many, that means it is multiplication. And 
for many is given like for so many things you are being given and we have to find for one then it is called division okay so you that you will understand by reading the question so here addition and subtraction we are having keywords so you can write or you can keep this in mind while doing the sum now we will come move on to the first question first question i have already read this question and now in this question it is written total number of tickets sold so you have been given four uh, the number of tickets sold for four continuous or consecutive days and you have to add that numbers and find out how many total number of tickets were sold okay so how to write this statement i will directly write the answer one okay so you whenever you are writing statement see this is tickets okay tickets cannot be uh, measured by length or cannot be measured by <coughs> gram or kilogram or liter or milliliter it must be measured only with the number so number of tickets number of tickets sold on first day number of tickets sold on first day is 1090 1094 so you have to write 1094 then number of tickets sold on second day one you please remember when you are writing numbers please write the numbers according like in a line do not write one here and zero here and somewhere like this like after this thousand place you need to write this every number in the thousand place same way then hundred then tens and then ones keep the number properly write the number properly right then number of tickets sold on third day that is 2025 2050 sorry and the last one number of tickets sold on fourth day and that is plus 2751 now you know how to do addition so you have to add all these numbers together and then give me your answer i'll give you 2 minutes for doing this sum for doing this sum okay now answer is please verify your answer total number of tickets sold on all four days are 7707 please check your answers correctly okay so total an answer you have to write total 7707 tickets were sold on all four days this is your answer okay check your answers and please write this question now question number 2 shekhar is a famous cricket player he has so far scored 6980 runs in the test matches he wishes to complete 10000 runs how many more runs does he need now you remember in keywords of subtraction we have done more than less than more and less so this is a, a question of subtraction okay now number of total number of uh, uh, runs he has scored is 6980 and he wants to complete 10000 so from 10000 how many runs less 
So yet you have to find, so first we have to minus 10,000, uh, we have to subtract 6980 from the 10,000. So for that what we have to do is, we have to write first the statement. So total number of runs, because runs cannot be measured with gram and kilowatt, the number of runs. Shekhar wants to complete. How many runs Shekhar wants to complete? 10,000. How many he has already completed? The runs he had completed or he has completed or done. So that you have to write here. Huh? Don't write here because you have to do minus here. So it is 6980. 0 minus 0, 0. You remember that, right? 0 minus 8. Can you subtract any number from 0? No. So what you have to do, you have to borrow 10 from this number right? with the left side of the number which is of 100 place. Now your 100 place already have 0. So you, if Mari Pase Kasujna, to hu kone su apu? Understand? So this is happened here also. It is 0. So you have to 0 cut and 9. Then you have to do 0 cut and 9. You have done this in the class 5. So I am not going to repeat why you have to put 9. If you don't remember or don't know, you can ask me, like I will give you answer. You have to borrow 10 from here, but he doesn't have anything, so he has to borrow from here. And this one has to borrow from 10 here, and then they have to become 999. Nine, nine. So, zero, uh, 10 minus 8, 2, 9 minus 9, 0, 6 minus, uh, sorry, 9 minus 6, 3. And 0 minus 0, 0. So, so, answer is number of runs required. Is equal to this. So, answer is, Shekhar needs, Three thousand and twenty runs more to complete ten thousand runs. So, any passe already does any passe already six thousand nine hundred eighty runs at Now he has to complete ten thousand. So, you how much left? This much left. So this much runs if he finished, he can complete 10,000. So this is how you have to finish answer number 2. I am giving you 2 minutes to write, read, uh, write this. Question number 3. See I am uh, doing question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Remaining questions we will finish in the next um, session. So question number 3 first. In the election, the successful candidate registered 5,77,500 votes and his nearest rival scored 3,48,700 votes. By what margin? Did the successful candidate win the election? Now, here, two candidates were there. One scored more than the other. Okay. Now, you have to find out how much more he scored. Now, here again, what you have to do? You don't need to do total number of votes. One scored, suppose if I am a uh, one candidate, I have scored maximum vote. And one other scored, if it is you. 
and you have scored less than me but how much less you have scored than me that you have to find so how much more and how much less if you want to find so you have to actually subtract both the number then you will get the answer so here also you have to do subtraction first you have to write the number of votes of the uh, winning candidate okay so number of votes of winning candidate or winning person and it is 5 lakh 77000 500 now you have to write down the number of votes of the rivalry candidate or number of votes of rivalry which which has not won the election is equal to you have to put minus here okay 3 lakh 48000 700 now you have to minus it please minus by yourself and give me your answer okay okay if you have done your with your answer i have written the answer on the board please check whether your answers are correct answer is correct or not so more votes or margin i don't margin margin of the votes of winning candidate and you have to write the answer with the separate winning candidates winning candidate winning candidate won the election with Two lakh twenty-eight thousand eight hundred of marginal vote, or of margin. This is your answer. Please check your answer with it whether it is correct or not. Okay. Now, fourth question. Kirti Bookstore. Sold books worth rupees two lakh eighty five thousand eight hundred ninety one in the first week of June and books worth rupees four lakh seven hundred sixty eight in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? Now we are together. Together means you have to add the number. But there is a trick in the next question. in which week was the sale greater and by how much sale means selling okay so first you have in the first question you have to add both the number okay because in the first week of june he has uh, uh, they have sold of this much money and the second week of june they have sold of this much money and then you have to total the number okay so you have to write the answer like this answer number 4 you have to write like this sale on on first week of june this is sign of rupees okay 2 lakh 85891 and sale on 
second week of june rupees 4,768. Now you have to add these two number. Okay. First you have to add these two number. And then give me your answer. I am writing on the board. Rupees 6,000. 6 6,86,459. So answer of the first one is. Total sell. On both week is equal to rupees six lakh eighty six thousand four fifty nine. Now in the second question, it was written like in which week the sale was greater. See, these two numbers have been given. Which number is greater? This number four lakh. 768 now thousand so in second week the sale was greater but by how much greater means how much more sale has been done how much more you have to do subtraction so for that you have to write sale on second week now here you have to write bigger number first then write the smaller number it's equal to rupees 4 lakh Six seven hundred sixty-eight. Okay, and then sale on first week. Rupees, huh? Rupees two lakh eighty-five thousand eight hundred and ninety-one. Now you have to do here subtraction. So please do the subtraction and give me your answer. Okay, that is your homework. Okay, so you have to do subtraction and give me your answer. Now the last question of this session. Find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit numbers that can be written using the digits. 6, 2, 7, 4, 3. Each only once. Okay, this is a tricky one. You have to first make the greatest five digit number and the smallest five digit number from these digits so digits were given i'm writing the digits first it is very easy you have to start with the bigger number first so bigger number is seven then you have to start the you have to put it into descending order seven six 4, 3, 2. This is your greatest. Now smallest. Smallest you have to arrange these number in ascending order. So bigger to or small to big. So smallest five digit number is. Put this number into ascending order. So bigger smaller number first. 2 then 3 then one minute, huh? two, three, then four, then six, then seven. Now simple, you have to find the difference between these number. These two number, you have to find the difference between these two number. That means you have to do subtraction. If I'm doing it for you, this is like this. And the answer is 52,965. So, difference between So, the difference between Big greatest and smallest number 
is equal to 52,965. This is that's all from today's session. Now, before you move on, I will give you homework in the PDF format. Okay. So, you have to complete that homework apart from the homework given in exercise 1.1. That is also there and the homework, extra homework will be given that you have to finish. Thank you so much.